Hi everybody, Angelo from Angelo's Workbench. Thank you for tuning into my channel. We're talking tonight about my Revell 69 Camaro Z28 in 12 scale. I have enjoyed this very much so far. I have made some progress on the chassis. Dealing with the bigger parts has been a joy. The wiring is in. The bottom half of the motor obviously is completed. Um, the headers have been mounted. Uh, there's linkage on the side of the transmission. I've been able to detail the brake lines on the chassis so far with, uh, I actually just did that with a silver sharpie, it was pretty easy to do. Um, I think I still have a little bit more weathering to do on the bottom to finish that up. I have also stripped the wheels and done them in Alclad. I didn't spray as much Alclad as I would normally have. I wanted them to stay a little dark because of the color selection I have chosen for the body. I have chosen a graphite. This has been um, painted and clear coated. The clear coat has not been polished out yet. As you can see, I still have kind of a little bit of a texture there from the lacquer clear coat shrinking. This is a, um, a duplicolor lacquer. Um, once I wet sand and polish this out, I'll have a, a, a factory shine, or maybe even better than a factory shine. The decal plan is to go with these orange ones with the white outline. I think that with the wheels a little darker, the graphite color and the orange decals with the white outline stripe, I think I'm on to something here. I think this will look very good. The uh, other project that will be running alongside this is a uh, build that a buddy of mine at work wants me to do. He got me the kit and the wheels to replicate his son's full-size car. His son has a Miata MX-5, as we call it here in this country, and he's running on some pretty big wheels. The kit that he selected was the Tamiya Unos, which is the Miata MX-5 variant. Uh, they call it the Unos in Japan, or the Unos, who knows? Am I saying that right? Who knows? But, ha, who knows? Anyway, um, so the, um, the hard top is why this kit was selected. His full-size one has the hard top, uses the hard top almost exclusively from what I understand. And his full-size one has coilovers and some pretty big wheels that are pretty much just like this. They've got the full-size one riding so low, they actually had to roll the fenders. So I'm going to try and duplicate that stance as closely as I can with this build. So January is going to be pretty exciting. We've got a lot of things going on. I'm having a lot of fun on the 12 scale. It's giving me an opportunity to practice working in the bigger scale. I haven't done any 12 scale cars since I was 10 years old, and I did that 57 Chevy. And I have a 12 scale Ferrari Enzo, the Tamiya one, the, the big 12 scale one with the with the like the rubbery seats in the kit. I don't know if any of you have seen that kit. It's a fantastic kit if you have a chance to pick it up. It's a little pricey. It's like four or five hundred dollars. But it's 12 scale, it's an Enzo, everything opens, it's supposedly a lot of fun. I wanted to do this as kind of a, a practice to get used to the 12 scale before I attack that. Um, that'll be coming up hopefully in the spring. So January is pushing on here at Angelo's Workbench. Stay tuned, I'll have more coming soon. Thank you.